Hello guys, welcome to a new reading vlog. I am going to be doing a month-long reading vlog for Spookopalathon. I don't know how well you guys can hear me if I'm blocking the mic or not, but um, and I'm going to also be reading for Fall Into Your TBR Readathon, I believe that's what it is. It's a readathon that's hosted by my friend Mariah and the With, Al With Malice channel or With Allie's Discord channel. Um, I haven't rolled or done any like wheel spins or whatever for the readathon so far because I have I'm in the middle of my reread of House on Cerulean Sea and I just haven't been able to like wrap that up quite yet because I haven't really been reading reading a whole lot lately. My reading has kind of slowed down um, quite a bit this year or at least this half of the year but I am feeling inspired to get some reading done so we'll see what all I can get done but I am going to do my first roll because it is the first of the month and I tend to do a lot of graphic novel and comic book reading on the first of the month and mostly trying to focus on that and with it being almost eight o'clock I would only probably get a couple of comic books in or maybe one graphic novel in before bed but we will see I am gonna pull up the board and grab a dice and do my roll okay so I'm not printing the board out I'm using it on the uh, Google Drive and I don't have two six-sided dice so I'm using just a d20. I'm just rolling as I go. If I happen to roll a one or a 20, I'm gonna count that as a double. Um, so we'll see how I go on. I'm not using a marker for the board either. I've created my own spreadsheet to kind of keep track of what I have, uh, I'm gonna be reading or have read so it will keep uh, track of what rolls I've made and like which prompts that they're gonna be fitting for but anyways let me roll I got an eight I don't know how well you can see it I'm sorry for the ambiance in the background Jordan's playing a video game so let's see focus camera okay so one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight. I need my foot fingers. Let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we got present. Okay, so that prompt is going to be super e easy to fill because it is present, a book you want to read right now, and really any of these comics I want to read right now. So I am going to pull up the Discord and see if I can see what prompt Mariah's spinning wheel uh, will give me and then decide which ones I want to do there. Okay, so let's click the spin. What shall we get? The most intimidating. Okay. Well, let's see. Out of these, the most intimidating, I would have to say probably either Mythic Volume 2 or Number 2 or American Vi Vampire Second Cycle. Out of this, I'm gonna go with Mythic. Because I've read most of American Vampire Second Cycle and I know I'll enjoy it. Mythic, I have I still want to continue and see. Finished Mythic. Gave it maybe about I would say three stars it. I definitely think this one would be more of waiting until like a find up. Um shows up for it. Even though I like having the issues of the comics, it just feels like an abrupt stop of like the storyline, but it's it's enough to keep my interest going. I just need to find the next issue. And I did a wheel spin, shortest book on the TBR. 
So Cauldron is a book that has at least one of your favorite tropes and Harley Quinn is chaotic and I like reading the Harley Quinn book so I'm gonna make it work. I should clarify and say that the trope with Harley Quinn's are just like the main plot points for this is she's got more of a take a slice of life type of thing when it comes to her series. crossed. Oh guys, it's been a bit since I've updated this vlog, but I finally finished my reread of House on the Cerulean Sea. I gave it four and a half stars again. Um, that was going towards the fall into your TBR since I was trying to finish that up from the last round of Witchathon. But I did start, I felt in the mood to start um, a non-fiction book. So I started Hecate, Goddess of Witchcraft by Courtney Lover. I was wanting, been wanting to read this for the longest time because I listen to the podcast that Courtney's on. It's one of my favorite podcasts to listen to, so I've been interested to pick up one of her books. And I work with Hecate, so it's always good to learn more about the deities that you worship and work with. So I started that um, like two days ago. I've been just taking my time with that, making notes, but. I also want to go ahead and roll for a new book. I am back on my wanting to read multiple books at a time kick. I'm starting to kind of get my reading mojo back a little bit more. But I am going to go ahead and roll and choose my next bookopoly pick. So, I got a 16. Okay, so I landed on Cauldron last time, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, so randomize your TBR. And while we're here, I'm going to spin for my next prompt for a fallen to TBR and see if I can and have that kind of help me narrow down what I need to read. Oh, that really helps. Graphic novel and manga or manga. So I'm not gonna do like, well I have one graphic novel I could throw into the pile so I think it will maybe like nine or ten to choose from, but I have a stack of comics that I got recently that I've been wanting to read, so I think this would be the perfect time to read it. It's like a very comic heavy for Book All the Sun, but ew. So I'm gonna just roll my dice and see what number it lands on, and that will be it. Eight. Let's see. Fables issue seven. So I'm gonna read Fables for this one. I just wanted to do a quick update. I did end up reading Fables number seven when I was at work. I gave it three and a half stars. I enjoyed it. But I just got home from work and I got in the mail from Tor Nightfire. I think it's Nightfire. Or from Tor anyways. Either way, it's book two in this uh, duology by Genevieve Demova. It is part of the, let's see, the Witch's Compendium of Monsters duology. This is going on sale on the 24th of this month. So thank you, Tor, for sending this my way. I have Foul Nights, which is the first book in this duology that I haven't gotten to yet, but Maybe I will try to squeeze it in this month with my bookopoly rolls, but we will see. But I appreciate the comment. I almost forgot to update you guys. I did start Happy Endings. I'm blanking on the author's name right now, but I'll have the cover on the screen here. 
started it at work today. It's a long neglected neck galley book that I was giving years ago, so I'm finally getting around to it. Uh, it is a, um, a Vietnamese African American romance that's a um, respect to lovers type of romance, and I'm enjoying it so far. This is the debut novel of the author, and I'm I started it this morning and I am almost halfway through it. So it's definitely reading super quick. It is pretty spicy. It like starts off being super sex positive in the beginning because the main character is a budding um, entrepreneur who is trying to start her own sex toys boutique. So it's been pretty straightforward um, when it comes to being sex positive. So that's always a plus. Um, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm not reading it for Bookopolathon, but it will go towards f the fall into your TBR. But I do need to roll for a new Bookopolathon book, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, let's see how the D20 is going to play this time. And it is a 10. Okay, so we stopped on the go. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So a back out of the back. <laughs> Read this for Fallen to Your TBR. We needed to get another comic book read. Excuse my bed raveled look. I just spent a good couple hours playing Baldur's Gate 3, so I'm a little dazed, but hello. It's been a while since I did an update. Um, I finished Happy Endings and gave it four stars. I really enjoyed it. It's definitely super sex positive and not just because it's spicy or anything. It actually, the main character talks about sex in a really positive light and tries to bring information to um, people and like educate them. So it was really pleasant to read. I highly recommend it. Today, I am planning on trying to get some comic books read because Allie with, um, from the channel with Allie is hosting her 24 hour reading sprints today. And I'm thinking about trying to knock out my stacks of comics. I'm still reading Turtles all the way down for Spookopolathon. I just feel like I want to like get through some comics today. I will probably pick up that or Crown of Gilded Bones later on today too to get some knitting done as well. But it's a really nice day and I kind of just want to chill out and do some reading. I might head outside and read outside for a bit because of how pretty it is. And I also need to take a shower today because I am, my hair is looking a little rough right now. So, but I am going to start a comic book. I'm probably going to start with the top one, which is uh, Van American Vampire Cycle, or Second Cycle. So I'm going to jump into these and get some reading done. Hey guys, I just wanted to update you since it's been a bit. I finished today Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. Give it three stars. I thought it was all right. Um, I just think I'm kind of out of the YA like mindset now when it comes to like certain books. I don't, obviously I don't really vibe with them all that much like age-wise so I don't feel like I relate as much to them but the story like the plot itself kept me going and the um, LCD rep I thought from an outsider's point of view I thought it was interesting and um, I don't know how true to OCD it is for some people, but I thought it was a decent um, interpretation of it. But I haven't rolled for a new book yet. I don't know if I'm going to do that tonight. I am still reading Crown of Gilded Bones, and I am wanting to work, like, read that while I work on my blanket. Um, so I'll probably do that and then if I 
end up running out of my yarn. Um, while I read that, I might roll up for another one. I'm not entirely too sure what I want to do, but I will update you whenever I go to roll for a new book. Okay, since I finished Turtles all the way down, it's been like a, a day or two maybe. I'm going to roll them using my a different die as this one. Is, it's not a heavy twine. I don't remember which one this one is, but I have, I'm at my desk, so I have the, the board pulled up here. So let's roll. We have an eight. So I was on Becca Rack last time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Blood. So I am going to go with Where the Grass is Green and the Girls Are Pretty. It's a net galley book that I've neglected for a good while. So I am using this as a time to try to catch up with some net galley stuff. <laughs> books for the readathon and like throughout the whole month and I did finish Turtles all the way down I started at Crown of Gilded Bones and um where th I'm blanking on the name of like the full name of the last book that I started but I'll put it on the screen here but it was a pretty decent month for reading overall I'm trying to take it slow because I'm still kind of in a a tiny reading slump because of just how average my reading has been lately and I, I'm just not as excited for stuff but I'm trying to keep myself reading in some form or fashion but I enjoyed the Spookopolathon and the Fall Into Your TBR readathon that my friend Mariah was hosting but yeah I really enjoyed it I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog as well and I will see you guys in the next one <music>